We're right now in Shishong Panna uh, in Yunnan province and uh, a very interesting place bordering Laos, Myanmar, Thailand and very close to Cambodia. So you know more about this place from my young friend here. Yeah? What's your name? Uh, my name is Ai. I'm the local yeah. people. Yeah, I, you belong to the Dai community. Yes, I'm a Dai. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just mention a little bit about uh, the history of this place? Uh, this, this garden? No, uh, the city. Uh, uh, the whole Sipsong Panna, right? Whole Sipsong Panna. Uh, Sipsong Panna, uh, Sipsong Panna uh, we got the name uh, from 16th century. One of the king here who divide the land into 12 parts for tax collection as a tributary item to Burmese Empire. After that, this place was named as Sipsong Panna uh, in 16th century. Yeah. And uh, nowadays, uh, Sipsong Panna, we have the one city, uh, two counties. Um, now we're in, in here, it's Cheng Hong. Cheng Hong in Thai means uh, uh, city of sunrise. And it's very uh, close to the three countries. They, uh, Border, yeah, we have the border with uh, Myanmar and Laos, and uh, close to Thailand and Vietnam. Yeah. Okay. And what is the main religion here? The main religion here is the Buddhism. We follow Theravada Buddhism, and the Buddhism, of course, was uh, introduced to here from Southeast Asia, Laos, Myanmar, Thailand, uh, 1,400 years ago. Yeah. And uh, and uh, according to the traditions here. And uh, ninety percent of Thai people they're Buddhist, and uh, and according to the tradition, and every boy have to be a monk for a while in order to learn how to read and how to write Thai language, history, uh, Buddhist, and uh, basics uh, Thai. And uh, the Thai girls are rated as one of the most beautiful girls in China. So what do they call? Uh, we call Sao uh, Toli. Uh, Sautoli. Sautoli means a uh, beautiful, beautiful girl, beautiful girl. And uh, the reason we call them a the beautiful girl because uh, Thai people, uh, especially for the lady, they always like to be clean. Yeah, and they always clean their hair and uh, tie them, they they hat and I fix it with a flower and a very golden jewelry and a very very attractive. Yeah, that's why we call them the Sautoli. Very attractive. Yeah, and, and these people here survive on tourism, or what kind of? What is the main place of earning of this area and, and, and this Tishinban? The economy. Yeah. Uh, economy. First is agriculture, and uh, second is a tourist industry. Uh, agriculture, so the 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 is like uh, the the rose mint trees, like a uh, rubber 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 tree, banana tea, sugar cane, and tea. Yeah, and um, the main crop here is a rubber. It's a rubber and tea. Yeah, we produce uh, lots of lots of tea. Yeah, poor tea, uh, which is a, uh, one of the famous the teas in China, even in the whole world. Even in the whole world. So you've got Thai people also in Assam. In India. Oh yes, uh, we have the Thai people in Assam. Thai people, uh, they not just live in uh, China, but also in the Southeast Asia, in Laos, Myanmar, uh, Thailand, and Cambodia. And even in India and in Assam, except the name differently in uh, different country by uh, by different government, yeah, the different government. For example, in China we call Thai, uh, D A I Thai. In Laos we call Lao. In Myanmar we call the Shan, uh, because most of them they stay in the Shan state. We call them the Shan people. Uh, uh, in Thai, in Vietnam, Cambodia we still call them the uh, Thai, yeah, Thai. In India, because they live in Assam region, we call them Assam, Assam Thai, Thai Assam. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So we have uh, the Thai minority people in staying not only in this city, but also in Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, and even in India, Assam. It's got a direct connect to this place with Assam in India. Abhijit Nandi Majumda. For ANM News and Jishan Banda.
forget to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon to get the latest updates.